Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we'll be talking about a smithing perk slash refine exploit that I found recently from playing a full smithing playthrough. So I have a video called the Ultimate Smithing Guide for Bannerlord, and it's pretty much a 30 minute video of all the info that I learned during this playthrough, including this exploit. But I decided to make this exploit its own video because I know some people want to see the exploit and not a whole 30 minute video, right? With that being said, if you do enjoy this video, find it useful, and want to know more on smithing, I do suggest you check out um, my other ultimate guide, right? The link to that guide will be down below in the description. Also, my script, like always, will be on the screen right now, and it's also going to be down below in the description, so pretty much everything that I state in this video will be down below if you guys want to go check it out, or translate, or whatever you guys want to do, right? So uh, now let's get straight into this exploit. So first, I'm going to read out the exploit with some background gameplay playing. That's probably already playing, right? And uh, then show you the exploit visually, pretty much firsthand. And I'm going to do it just, you know, step by step. So what this exploit pretty much lets you do is um, it cuts down your refining times. It makes it a lot quicker and a lot more uh, effective. So uh, first, for this to work, you do need some companions. Any will do. Uh, any will do for this exploit. The more, the better, in my opinion, uh, because we're gonna use them to craft. I mean, to refine as well. Uh, second, get to a town once you have these companions and enter the smithy. Now, as you see in the refining screen, your main character and your companions will have the basic smithing abilities on the right side, and also ones that are learned through the smithing skill like all the steel maker perks the steel maker one two and three efficient charcoal and efficient iron maker now with this exploit you can use one characters which is pretty much your main character or your companion you can use one of their smithing perks like steel maker three with all your other characters even though your other characters don't have that certain perk learned like steel maker three right First, all you do is you choose the character with the perk and then you choose the ability. Now, you can either refine with this character or if you want to use another character's stamina but use this perk, all you have to do is just switch to another character and do not click any new ability on the new character screen. So if you do this, the previously selected perk will still be selected and then you can use your new character's stamina to perform uh, the other character's ability that has it learned. So pretty much this is a huge help for like uh, for perks like the efficient charcoal perk since even my low level companions, the ones I just got that are have smithing level zero or even ones that pick the other perk which is the efficient iron maker, they can still use their stamina to get uh, three charcoal for two hardwood unlike the basic ability which is one charcoal which is uh, one charcoal for two hardwood. So uh, with that all being said, let's uh, show you the gameplay. Let's show you exactly how you do it. It's gonna be right now. Uh, we're gonna enter. Okay, so first let's show the perk skills, right? So my main character is 321, as you can see. He has, uh, we'll do Steel Maker 3. As you can see right here, turn two fine steel into one. I call it T Steel because I can't pronounce it. So Steel Maker 3, and as you can see, this companion that's with us, he is level uh, 86, so he does not have Steel Maker 3 on right now. So if we go into Smithy, right over here. And uh, we choose refine. This is our main character. As you can see, he, he can do this uh, skill right here, right? So we chose the skill. Now, if we want our other companion, which is this guy who has an 86 smithing skill to pretty much um, be able to use this ability right over here, all we have to do is click on his name and don't touch anything. As you can see, it's not even on the screen right now, but it's still queued up. And now as you can see, his smithing skill is 65. If we hit refine, we do get that transaction, the other ability that we had, and his stamina went down. So pretty much we used our main character's um, Steel Maker 3 perk ability, and we used it with his stamina, even though he doesn't have it on, uh, what's it called? His ability chart. So hopefully that uh, was helpful. And like I stated before, Check out the other video if you are interested in more smithing info. I have a lot of good stuff in that video. It took me a long time to make and a long time to really just play and learn everything. So, uh, yeah, like always, if you enjoy it, ask me any questions and uh, stay safe.